Hello students, welcome to Swapna Physics classes. In this class, I am going to teach you one more essay question for your TSIPE examination. For your TSIPE examination, that to for first year. First year intermediate examination. Okay. And the question is, state and prove law of conservation of energy in case of a freely falling body. In our question, they asked us to give the statement for law of conservation of energy. And then after, we have to prove whether this law of conservation of energy is valid for a freely falling body. What is this freely falling body? Freely falling body is nothing but sum of all the forces acting upon the body will be equal to zero. Nothing but the net force is equal to zero. And coming to the statement of law of conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy energy can neither be created energy can neither be created neither be created nor be destroyed nor be destroyed energy ni create chale mo, destroy chale mo. but but can be transformed can be transformed from one form to another form one form to another form one form to another form Convert change. Example, electrical energy can be converted into mechanical energy. In our house appliances, um, for fans, okay, electrical energy is used to convert into mechanical energy. And for lights, electrical energy is converted into light energy and heat energy okay these are the examples but for an isolated system for an isolated system what is an isolated system it is a closed system it is a closed system for a closed system energy remains constant energy remains constant the total energy is nothing but sum of potential energy and kinetic energy this always remains constant okay and one more example is energy of the universe okay uh, if you assume that universe has an isolated system then the energy the total energy of the Universe remains constant. Okay. And in case of a freely falling body. In case of a freely falling body. Freely falling body. What is the freely falling body? Some of all the forces acting on the body will be equal to zero okay for this purpose i'm considering a cliff let us consider a cliff of height h above the ground let us consider a cliff of height h above the ground uh, to prove that uh, the law of conservation is valid for this uh, system free, for a freely falling body okay i'm considering three points point a point b and point c From this height h, I'm just dropping a ball. I'm just dropping a ball to the surface of the earth. I'm just dropping. Okay. Uh, this body is a freely falling body. I'm not throwing. I'm just dropping a ball. Okay. So, at point A, what will be the energy of this ball? 
and at point B, what will be the energy and point C, what is the energy of this ball? Let's find out. If the energy at, at these points remains the same, then we can say that uh, energy is conserved at all these points. Therefore, law of conservation of energy is valid for freely falling body. Okay. At point A, I'm going to find out the total energy. The total energy is sum of potential energy and kinetic energy. I'm going to find out this potential energy and kinetic energy at point A. Okay, let's see. So, at point A, what is the height of the body? What is the height of the ball? It is H. Height is H. Okay, and the general formula for potential energy is mgh for kinetic energy is half mv square. Okay, so at height h, what will be the potential energy? The potential energy is equal to mass of this ball. Okay, mass of the ball is m. G is the acceleration due to gravity and height is the h. Okay. Let's consider a ball of mass m at the height h of a cliff from the ground. From the ground. Let's drop this ball. Let's drop this ball. And at point A, the potential energy is equal to mgh just because of the height is h. And coming to the kinetic energy, kinetic energy is half m v square. Okay, I am just dropping this ball from this point A. Initially, this ball is at a rest. Therefore, the initial velocity is equal to zero. Initial velocity, initial velocity u is equal to 0. If you substitute the velocity is equal to 0, then the kinetic energy will be equal to 0 at point A. Therefore, the total energy at point A is equal to what is potential energy we have? mgh plus what is the kinetic energy? is equal to 0. This will be equal to mgh. The total energy at point J is equal to mgh. This is equation number 1. Okay. We just write at point A. The potential energy is equal to mgh. And kinetic energy is equal to 0. Therefore, the total energy is equal to mgh. Equation number 1. Now, let's find out the Potential energy and kinetic energy at point B. At point B, at point B, what is the height of this ball from the ground? To find out this height, I am considering the displacement of the ball from A to B as X. Okay? Let's let the displacement s of the ball from a to b is equal to x okay and the height of the ball height of the ball at b at b is equal to what will be the height now the total height minus uh, the distance which is traveled by this ball is x okay h minus x h minus x if you uh, subtract this x from h you will get the height of the ball at point b which is h minus x then the potential energy is equal to mgh which is equal to mg times of what is h h minus x okay at point b Potential energy is equal to mg times h minus x. Coming to the kinetic energy. 
coming to the kinetic energy which is half m v square to find out the velocity of the ball at point b i am taking the equation one of the equation of newton's law of motion newton's equations of motion copy in your notebook or take a screenshot okay now from newton's equation of motion newton's equations of motion i am taking one of the equation which is v square minus u square equals to 2 as or 2 gs a or g if you take this as g you can take g is the acceleration due to gravity s is the displacement u is the initial velocity and v is the final velocity okay we have to find out the final velocity why because this initial velocity will be equal to zero the ball is traveled from a to b okay from a to b we have two velocities that is at a point a and at point b one more velocity okay at point a it will be the initial velocity okay initial velocity u is equals to zero initial velocity is equals to zero and coming to the final velocity v final velocity v is equals i am taking it as v1 we don't know the velocity okay nanter manaku telledu we don't know the magnitude of the velocity so that i am considering it as v1 okay now acceleration due to gravity is g or a you can take any okay if you want to take it as a you can take okay and s is the displacement displacement from a to b is x it is x okay now did you copy this displacement is x now the kinetic energy to find out the kinetic energy first of all you have to find out this velocity okay v is v1 v1 square minus u square is 0 why because initial velocity is 0 which is equal to 2 a acceleration due to gravity is a <coughs> and the displacement is x just substitute all these quantities in this equation then v1 square is equal to 2 a x okay now substitute substitute v1 square in kinetic energy equation what is the kinetic energy equation half m v square half m v square kinetic energy at point b now is equal to half m v square <coughs> This v one square at point B is equal to two a x. Two two cancel. Now kinetic energy at point B is m a x. M a x or m g x. We can take any. Okay. Now at point B, kinetic energy is equal to m a x. Okay. Here I had taken the potential energy as g. therefore i am taking this as g then okay the notation this konde okay any one notation mg x my potential energy tells me the kinetic energy tells me now what will be the what will be the total energy we have to add this potential energy and kinetic energy to find out the total energy therefore the total energy is equal to what is the potential energy we have mg into h you just multiply mg into h minus mg into x plus kinetic energy is mg x 
plus mgx minus mgx cancelled therefore the total energy is mgh at point b equation number 2 okay here the total energy is mgh equation number 2 copy this now you have to find out the kinetic energy and potential energy point c point c what is the total energy at point c if you get it as mgh point a the given mgh point b the given mgh point c the given mgh anukondi energy is conserved okay at point c to find out the potential energy we have to know the height first of all okay point c this point c is on the surface of the earth therefore the height is equals to zero right this height will be equals to zero therefore the potential energy at point c will be equals to zero and to find out the kinetic energy half mv square which is half mv square we have to know the velocity at point c for that purpose i am considering one of the equations from newton's equation of motion newton's equations of motion which is v square minus u square equals to 2 as 2 as final velocity this is initial velocity a is the acceleration g s is the displacement okay now final velocity final velocity of the ball at point c will be v2 <coughs> initial velocity initial velocity throughout the journey from a to c the ball is traveling from a to c therefore this will be the initial velocity and a point c will be the final velocity we have final velocity at point c and initial velocity at point a which is equals to zero initially the object is at rest therefore the velocity will be equals to zero okay after some time it will attain a velocity of v2 and in case of point b it is v1 okay therefore if you substitute the values in this equation okay and we have one more term no uh, terminology here one more physical quantity which is displacement displacement of the ball from point a to c is h h it is displacement to a distance of h and acceleration due to gravity here a is acceleration due to gravity now this equation will be equals to v2 square final velocity is v2 square minus 0 initial velocity is 0 which is equal to 2 into g into h therefore v2 square equals to 2 g h okay now substitute this v2 square in kinetic energy equation in kinetic energy equation kinetic energy will be equal to half m v2 square this is equal to half m what is v2 square we have 2 g h 2 g h Two to cancel. Therefore, the kinetic energy at point C is m g h m g h. Right. So at point C, the potential energy is equal to zero, and kinetic energy is m g h. Now, what will be the total energy? To know the total energy, we have to add up the potential energy and kinetic energy. 
what is potential energy we have zero plus kinetic energy is mgh therefore at point c the total energy will be equal to mgh equation number three equation number three if you observe carefully the equations one two and three from equations one two and three the total energy the total energy point a from equations 1 2 and 3 the total energy at point a is equal to the total energy at point b equals to the total energy at point c which is nothing but mgh it remains constant throughout the journey For a freely falling body, the total energy remains constant throughout the journey, right? Which is equal to mgh. Hence, hence, in case of a freely falling body, the law of conservation of energy is proved. What is law of conservation of energy? Energy neither be created nor be destroyed. But it can transform from one form to another form. See, in this case, at point A, potential energy is maximum. And at point C, potential energy will be zero. That means it is decreasing. And coming to kinetic energy, at point A it is zero and at point C is mgh. It is increasing. Kinetic energy, potential energy decreasing. Kinetic energy increasing. That means here, here, initially the object is at rest, then after it attains some velocity. Potential energy is converted into kinetic energy here. Okay? And the total energy remains constant. It is not destroyed or created. Therefore, the law of conservation of energy in case of a freely falling body is proved valid and one a problem will also be attached to this question let's see the problem let's see the problem see here uh, this is a series of important questions list at present i am taking the lectures for very important questions only you can any concept or depth only exam point of view chapter now Make a concept depth of our and further than in lectures law depth of chapter one shot lectures is kundano and separate content and a maniki una syllabus law oko topic oko lecture this kunda a kram depth of the way okay and take a problem a machine gun take a problem. <coughs> A machine gun fires 360 bullets per minute and each bullet each bullet travels with a velocity of 600 meters per second 600 meters per second if the mass of each bullet of each bullet is 5 grams is 5 grams <coughs> find the power of the machine gun find the power of the machine gun this is a example problem and the same type of problems will be asked in your examination for this question same type of problems will be asked and if you understand the way we solve this problem you will be able to solve 
the problems given in your examination. Okay, let's see. First of all, write the data. Number of bullets. Number of bullets. N is equal to 360. Okay, per minute. The time given as. Time given as. T is 1 minute. And converting this into seconds. It is 60 seconds. Okay, now, if you problem solved this, you uh, the physical quantity of the units either CGS or SS. Maximum manam, SA system of units you just saw. SA system of units you can convert this. Okay? Next, each bullet travels with a velocity of 600 meters per second. Velocity is 600 meters per second. And if mass of each bullet mass of each bullet is 5 grams and converting it into SA system of units that to, that is into kg 5 into 10 power minus 3 kg ok find the power what is the power power is total energy by time ok we have to find out this and total energy is nothing but sum of potential energy sum of potential energy and kinetic energy okay, the potential energy is zero why because the bullets have wave velocity of 600 meters per second but a high time to mention bullets are traveling with the velocity okay therefore we have the kinetic energy of mv square in this uh, equation so in this question so the total energy is equal to half m into n for n number of bullets for n number of bullets of mass m of each bullet the velocity is v okay now you just substitute in this equation power is equal to total energy is 1 by 2 times m n v by time t is it clear Then this power is equal to 1 by 2 times. What is the mass we have? Mass. 5 into 10 power minus 3 into number of bullets are 360. Into what is the velocity? 600 meters per second. 600 meter per second by time is 60 seconds. And just solve this. 0, 0, 6, 6 is 36. 2, 3, 6. Power is equal to 5, 3, 50 into um, this is 6, 1, 2. See, here velocity is V square. Here we have V square. I have taken V power 1 only. We have one more 600 here. <clears throat> okay. 6, 6 is 36 into 10 power 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 into 10 power minus 3. Okay. And the power is equal to power is equal to 15 into 36. You just multiply this into 10. 10 power 4 minus 3 will be 10 power 1. Okay. Watts. Okay. And uh, if you want to convert into kilowatts, you just multiply this with 10 power minus 3. Okay. This is the answer we have. Okay. If you uh, go through this problem, if you understand this problem, you will be able to solve whatever the problem given in your examination for this question. Okay. This is very important essay question for eight marks okay that too for telangana state board examination i hold i had already given you the four important questions for your examination okay this is our second question our first question is work energy theorem i had already uploaded in our channel you just go through it and uh, in our last uh, examination 
intermediate examination uh, second year students ki first year exam conduct chesaru kada andlo 60% students fail ayyaru anni subjects kal not physics i am not speaking about physics so vallane drushtilo pettukoni nee lectures chestunna okay important question series cheptunnanu so that you please uh, share this uh, these lectures with your friends so the ఈ క్వశ్చన్స్ చదవడం వల్ల నేర్చుకోవడం వల్ల వాళ్ళ ఎగ్జామ్ పాస్ అయ్యే ఛాన్సెస్ ఉంటాయి ఫెయిల్ అవుతారు అన్న స్టూడెంట్స్ ఉంటారు కదా వాళ్ళకి ఎంతో యూస్ఫుల్ అవుతాయి ఓకేనా బాయ్